video this is at this point. Um, but I have another thing, obviously, to take care of on the GTO. All right, not sure if I showed it, but I gave the you know front section of the car a little detail. Not, not, you know, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. But man, she, uh, she cleans up pretty damn good. It looks nice. So with that being said, I would like to take care of the airbags today. So right now, I am going to disconnect the battery. And I'm also going to see if I can try to squeeze the battery tray back in here. I know this area is a little crumpled, so I'm not sure if it's actually going to want to go back in where it should. But um, yeah, I'm not a fan of having a battery just like this. So uh, another little thing I did while I'm here. See, the wires look a little corroded, and this connection was just shit. It was actually this Phillips head screw. Ran through it, because I guess this piece doesn't tighten anymore, or whatever the case was. So, put this new end on I had laying around from Tammy Lynn. You got to crush it down. I actually grinded, when I pulled this little silver tab off, um, I took a wire wheel to this whole section right here, just so everything was bare metal. So, everything's making good contact. There's actually two wires that running up into this together. So, put that on there. It's all tight. It's all good connection. And uh, rewrapped it with electrical tape up to the sheet thing, which is basically where the old electrical tape was falling off. So this is good. I would change out the positive end, but with the amount of, you know, this little connection and also this one as well, I'm just gonna leave them for now because they actually fit and they work right. So that's that, tray is in. Uh, the only other thing that I have to do is put in, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, this piece, which locks the battery down. So this will come last. So now, since that's done, the car's been sitting for a little bit. I think we're going to tackle putting the airbags in. So obviously we have the driver's side, uh, you know, horn airbag, steering wheel airbag, whatever you want to call it. And this is for the dashboard one. This is what it looks like. I believe it mounts. Oh, 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 oh. I think it mounts like this or it mounts like this, something like that. So uh, yeah, we're going to do the steering wheel one first, get this thing cleaned up, make the steering wheel pretty again. And then we'll worry about the passenger side. Alrighty, so I, d I just watched a little video on how to get this airbag center section out. So basically, um, you have to pop this bottom part off, and it's one screw, which is down here, and then these two little sliders. My screw is already broken off on the column, so I kind of just have to pull out on it. Um, and then these little nubs right here, you know, like the half ovular looking things, you kind of just slide off of them. So bottom piece is off, and then there's somewhere on the back of here, there's little holes that you reach into with like a small allen key or like a small, very, very small pick and it releases, you can see it past this red wire. You can see the spring and then that like center uh, metal piece. I'll show you what it looks like on that new bag. It's plenty easier. Oh, 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 okay. Basically what we're doing right now is we need to release Sounded slow. So I uh, basically have to release these four pins. So I'm gonna work on doing that right now. Uh, probably is not gonna be fun, so wish me luck. That's the third. This is something I don't, oh my God, there we go. There we go, okay, beautiful. And yeah, this thing's sticky as hell, it's leaving like black shit all over my fingers. So, all right, let me flip you around and I'll show you what the hell I was just doing. All right, so now when you look in here, you can see those metal cords, right? Right, so what I was doing was, you see now I have the Allen key in the back and you can see I'm actually moving the wire from the back side of here. So that's basically what I was just trying to do. I'll show you what the hell this hole looks like. You can see those slits in the rectangles. So, yeah, so that was fun. All right, so we have the new airbag here. And as you can see, we have this little tiny ass plug, which is this little guy right here, right? And then it looks like this connector goes here. That's 
Now you can see we have a we have an airbag, so that's cool. And I guess uh, I'll clean it up really quick. This does feel. I can't tell if it's this that's sticky or if it's already my hands from touching the other one. Hopefully that's the case. But uh, yeah, it actually looks nice having a normal airbag in here. So I'm gonna clean this up really quick and then I guess we'll look into that side. Alrighty, got the battery tie down down there. Got the cables on. Um, I didn't hear the airbag explode yet. So I guess that's a good sign. But uh, we're just going to oh so gently Oh, I have a horn. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, well, uh, that, that's good. And also, unfortunately, this is a little bit sticky. Um, not nearly as bad as this one was. So I'm gonna have to figure out something for that. Probably just gonna have to get a different airbag at some point in time, but at least now I have a horn. I have an airbag, so that's good. Um, yeah, that, that's nice. And I guess while we're here, I might as well... Oh, this is so scary. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay, well, nothing blew up. Nice, cool. All right, well, uh, all right, I have one airbag in, and I guess, uh, do I feel like playing with that one? Not, not really. No. So I, th I thought I'd throw this in the video. So cool enough, actually, and my 05 GTO didn't have this. But this car still has all the original stuff in the, uh, you know, like the owner's manual, right? So I didn't even get to go through everything that's in here so far, because I think there is other stuff in here. But anyways, I started reading this. Get to know your O4 GTO, right? I'm just scrolling through, just kind of messing around, seeing what's in here. And then look at, uh, they have a thing for cup holders. If desired, the small tray located at the rear of the center console can be used to neatly cover this, the cup holders when not in use. So I'm like, what? So there is this tray here. If we if we take this tray, I, I thought that was just a nice rubber insert here. You cannot tell me that this is one of the coolest cars ever. That is so cool. Now I have now I have a little tray. And now, oh, I got cups. Boom, cup holder. Alrighty, so tackle the passenger side airbag. Um, first things first, I just want to see the kind of accessibility I have. Oh, huh. that comes out a lot easier than I thought. Okay, well, now we have no glove box. Let's take a look underside and see if we can access anything airbag related. Alrighty, so I pulled the, uh, I guess it's, it's technically under the glove box, but I pulled off this top panel. So now we have full accessibility inside. So like I said, you can see the two top mounts, kind of a pain to get to, but thankfully, when you actually reach under the dash, you can see the four bottom mounts for the airbag itself. Alrighty, so here for uh, probably the next minute or two, you can actually watch me struggle um, trying to figure out how to get the airbag out itself once I got all the hardware out. So what ended up happening was it, it doesn't it doesn't come out. Um, there's one form I read, I believe I mentioned in the video. There's only one form that I read that uh, you need to actually take the whole dashboard out to replace this passenger airbag. Now, I'm a determined young man. So, of course, I made it happen without having to pull the dash. It was a royal pain in the ass, but, you know, it was kind of worth it, maybe. I, I don't really know. Uh, at least now the car is a little bit safer and the dash looks nicer, you know, not having the blown bag coming out. But, uh... Yeah, this is this is me really, really determined on getting this getting getting that bag out. Yeah, so yeah. Alright, so it's been a little while since I've taken a last uh video. And uh things have maybe gotten out of hand. Uh I, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I'll show you what I'm after. Okay, so I've tried my hardest to get this airbag out. And according to one form I found, you have to take the whole dash pad off to get this airbag out. Now, the biggest problem with this dash pad, or with this dash pad, with the airbag, 
And you can see I tried to bend the tabs, still couldn't get the shit out. The biggest problem, if you see it, it's gonna focus, that black thing I'm moving back there, it's the air duct that runs from the center of the HVAC under the dash and over through this vent to this vent out of this vent for the passenger, right? So if I was an asshole, I would just cut the thing, call it a day. Then you just get foot well air, at least, you know, for these vents. Um, I prefer not to do that. So basically I pulled everything apart that I absolutely could, you know, simplistic wise to try and get to that, um, that HVAC tube. Now, if I can get that HVAC tube off, the airbag will literally fall right out, um, which would make life a hell of a lot easier for taking this out and also reinstalling the new one. Um, yeah, I was getting fed up to the point with this thing, beating the shit out of it, bending these tabs here and here. Just, I tried everything. It will not come out. So I feel like I'm really not even that far away from taking the dash out itself, but I'm going to try my absolute hardest not to do that because, ah. Uh, that's a task I really don't feel like doing right now. So if you look down, also, if anybody's wondered what it looks like inside of an HVAC thing in a car, there you go. So if you look down there, you can see the tube shaking, right? So that's the tube I'm after. If I can pop that connection right there, which I cannot get my hand to under the dash. So it's nice that this actually did kind of work out in my favor. Now I can reach in and try to pop that off. If I can pop that off, I can snake it out and I can dash, dash. Oh, I'm so fuzzled. If I can push that tube off, slip the thing out, or at least just move it, then I can get the airbag out and then the new one in. Yeah, I even tried the saws off, didn't really work. So that's the current task at hand. Check it out, son. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Blown airbag, pulled out. Of an 04 GTO without removing the dash. That was absolutely horrible. Uh, if you have a GTO and your airbags go off, just call the car total because that was absolutely a waste of my time. So, oh my God. I don't know what the hell this shit is made of. But let me tell you, this is probably the strongest plastic that I have ever beaten on. I just got fed up with this thing mind you this runs like this right under the dash of course there's a bunch of random shit in the way you can actually see how this curves you know like right here and that's because the back of the airbag actually rests right there so trying to pull the airbag out you can actually see the that scratch spot right there that's for me trying to get the airbag out prior to moving this i don't know how but i got the one corner of this thing popped in because i removed the side piece and I just started yanking on it and kicking the living shit out of it. And it came out. So thank, thank God. Thank the Pontiac gods for me. So now that I went through all this pain and agony for the last like hour and a half, two hours, I get to do all of it in reverse. And I could not be more excited. So now I guess I'm going to start with the airbag going in and trying the snake shit back up into their spots as well. Um... Oh my God. Okay, after some battle scars, it is in place, but the only way I could get it in was if I bent the tabs like that. Um, I also had to take off the wire that's, it's not plugged in, but it's got like a clip onto this. I wish it would focus. It's got a plug. This plug, or this connector, clips onto this, you know, bronze-ish looking, uh, tab here so i unclipped that as well just so i didn't break it in the process but what i'm going to try to do now with my very very limited fun space is bend these tabs back up straight and then i'll be able to hit the top mounts with two the bronze nuts wherever the other one is i, I don't even care anymore and then uh, the four silver bolts underneath and then after that i get oh, that's gonna fall back and then after that i get the fun of trying to snake this air duct back in and complete reassembly of the inside of this car. So, finally, I have the airbag in. I have it mounted. It's good. The only thing I didn't do is plug it in. I'm gonna do that as one of the last final steps before I actually close this panel up. Um, so now I have the fun of trying to snake this huge ass AC duct uh, back up into its place. So this is going to be absolutely horrible. I know I'm definitely gonna bust a couple more knuckles, but 
I'm hoping that this will be worth it. I'm also hoping that this fucking no, no thing word. doesn't go off as soon as I put power to the car. Another thing, too, it pisses me off. My GTO badge popped off of here. I have it, but um, I'm, I'm going to have to do something about that. So maybe it's time to do an HSV badge in here and here or something. I don't really know. Alrighty. The air duct is in. It is secured to the main HVAC box, if you will. Uh, over here is a little beat up looking, but when I go to put the side panel on, if I hold this here, it will it will be lined up with this bottom mounting screw. So HVAC duct is back in. The airbag is now back in. Again, I'm gonna wait to plug it in until I'm completely done. Um, might be stupid of me. Oh, you should plug it in and test it now. With all of the other shit that I have unplugged and whatnot, I don't wanna mess anything else up. So that being said, um, the only thing that, you know, knock on GTO or whatever this car may be since it's badgeless now, <sighs> the only thing that could technically go wrong is the airbag goes off or it does not work at all. And obviously the only thing that I would be able to find out by plugging it in right now is to see if the thing would explode. So we're just gonna kind of send it. All right, my phone's about to die, but the car is running. I still do have an airbag light and the airbag is plugged in and it did not explode. So 